The district of Jabal Gharbi in the western mountains of Libya is one of the warmest areas of the country. But drought has forced members of the Mehrat family in the village of Gharian to dig deep. And with the help of their local community, they've tapped into water underground. In the past, we had no water source. This is the first well ever dug in this area. Water tankers used to be brought in from remote areas for 100 dinars. Now it's available here for just 40. Gharian has for years relied on sourcing water from the outside. But transporting it in trucks across mountains, a lack of infrastructure and years of conflict makes that difficult, along with power outages. When there is no electric power, the price of water tankers goes up, simply because well owners incur more expenses for the generators and fuel. We either have no water at all, or we are forced to buy it at higher prices. With no permanent rivers in Libya, 97% of its population relies on water from hundreds of metres underground, through what's known as the Great Man-Made River. It's one of the largest irrigation projects in the world and costs billions of dollars, but has been neglected since former leader Muammar Gaddafi was killed in 2011. There are 19 wells that need immediate service. If maintained, these wells, together with the water from the man-made river, means we'll be able to meet the entire district's needs. The United Nations met officials from water authorities in July to address how to renovate the network of wells and water pipelines across Libya. Until progress is made, those in the most arid areas will continue searching for their own water sources. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera.